Yo, 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 what is up, squad? It's your main man, Kid Stan, and we are back with another Finesse Kid video. Now, today we are playing a new One Piece game that has just recently come out, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to drop a video, bro. It's like 3.30 a.m. in the morning, bro. I am sleep deprived, and I was like, you know what? Let me record a video on this game, bro. It came out about, like, I want to say two and a half maybe three hours ago i got i've been playing for a little bit i just really been trying to figure some stuff out figure out you know uh you know like the basically the ropes of the game you know how you know me i'm always trying to find out how you cheese the game as you know this was stuff to find out some interesting information that i decided you know what i feel like this would be a great sort of guy because this game has just now come out like just a few hours ago so i know this would help a lot of new people to this game to have a huge huge head start that could give them a really big boost on leveling and just getting stronger at this game so with that being said let's get into the video welcome back First and foremost, I'm going to cover the basics really quick, and then I'm going to help you guys find out how you can easily cheese this game, get some quick levels up, and whatnot. All right. So first and foremost, you got the you got your menu right here, and then you got your stats. All right. So you got your your multiple different stat groups that you do uh, get available stat points for to apply to these different categories, which will allow you to buff uh, different aspects such as sword damage, HP, your uh, devil fruit damage, uh, gun damage, and melee damage. Now, uh, there is actually surprisingly a shop that you can go over here. In the game, they decide to call them demon fruits. There's a shop that you can go to, and here at the shop, literally you can talk to the person here and this person will actually, if you're not, if you don't feel like waiting for a devil fruit to spawn, you can actually come here to buy a devil fruit. Now, when you come here to buy the new fruits, it tells you how much the fruit costs and the ability levels. So, the, and so while these, this does show you the ability levels, the level is not based on your devil fruit stat or your demon fruit stat right here, but what it is based on is your mastery of the devil fruit itself. So every everything literally in this game has its own mastery level. Every sword, every gun, every melee fighting style, I believe, and every devil fruit. Now, what does that mean? It means you literally have to level up each devil fruit individually, each weapon, just how in rope piece, uh, Carabros one rope piece, uh, you had to level up literally everything to for it to get its own stat. That is literally the same thing in this game. So if you have a devil fruit, you farm it for a little bit. The only way you can level it up is by using it to do damage to NPCs. And then it has this little EXP bar right here. The mastery rank max is 158. You can see that I'm very far from that. And here I'm going to shoot this bandit real quick. As you see that, my mastery uh, EXP bar went up a, just a bit higher. It's not going to go up very high because these are, like I said, some level 5 bandits. So let's shoot this one again. Boom. All right. So as you guys can see, obviously it's going up a decent amount because I'm mastery level 3. But honestly, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a pain. It's a pain to grind. I'm going to let you guys know this now. So here you can find uh, Devil Fruits here that you can buy. You go to him, talk to him a little bit, and you can buy the Devil Fruits. For either get, get away from me, Sage. You can either you can either buy them for uh, in-game belly or Robux. But the thing is, buying it with in-game in-game belly, sometimes Devil Fruit may be out of stock, and then you have to wait for the timer in order for it to come back into the for new fruits to come into the shop. But if you buy it with Robux, you automatically get that Devil Fruit. You can buy the Devil Fruit whenever you want, or you can wait for a Devil Fruit to spawn every hour to go find one. Now here. Here you can grab a quest uh, to easily uh, kill these bandits. These bandits really aren't hard, honestly. Like literally, you can just take your time, your sweet time to uh, kill these bandits uh, individually, one by one. They do give a decent amount of exp, but once you feel like you are strong enough, once you feel like once you hit level 10, you want to leave this island, and what you want to do is come over here, and you want to grab a boat. You can get a boat from over here. You want to? Ooh, you can get a speedboat. Oh, okay. Uh. 
I did not know that. Oh, you don't own this Game Pass. I don't want no Game Pass. Get out of here, dude. All right, so I, I was so confused. So why I was like, a speedboat? All right, so you come over here and to the regular boat digger, uh, dealer, and you can get a dinghy. Okay, so now me being a Dolphin user, I always have to use boats because I've given up my ability to swim, which was definitely worth it. Probably the best decision I've made at 3 a.m. in the morning. But, uh, so we're gonna head over here to this island specifically. So as you guys can see, this is the dock. I'm heading over here kind of to the northeast, all right? So it's, uh, it's a really, it's a really foresty island with a whole bunch of, uh, trees and, uh, and vine stuff hanging out or hanging down and stuff. Oh, gosh, I'm so tired. And once you get to the island, there are going to be a whole bunch of stuff that you can find. So, not only that. I forgot not only that uh, I forgot to mention that there is actually a sword uh, a sword dealer right next to the devil fruit dealer uh, usually they are left there they are uh, like close together when as to where they're placed they usually placed quite close together I'm so sorry I'm so tired and then so like honestly usually if you find one you'll find the other so you can pull up to this island right here once you get to this island I highly suggest that you set this island as your spawn, which is what I have done. I already have the island set. You click to him, you click to interact, blah, 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 you get it done. So once you're level 10, what you want to do is come over here, come right here, and you want to talk to this dude and talk to him and ask him for a quest, all right? He's gonna give you three different quests. He can either get the quest for the monkeys, gorillas, or gorilla king. When you're level 10, what you're gonna want to do is get the quest for the monkeys, all right? You want to quest for the monkeys. This is this method I'm about to show you is a lot easier. It's a lot more efficient if you have a sword. Uh, a sword helps, gives you that range that you do need in order to cheese this uh, this uh, quest right here. So I'm gonna have to kill this dude real quick. Kill him real quick. All right. So obviously he cannot hit me because I'm a Logia type, uh, quote unquote, demon fruit eater or whatever. So what you want to do is you want to come over here to this spot specifically after picking up that monkey quest and you are going to wait for this monkey right here to spawn all right this monkey that they actually don't take very long to uh uh to respawn so or after while you're waiting for that actually let's grab this monkey so we can kind of drag him and bait him over here so you're gonna bring this monkey oh that's the monkey that was supposed to spawn over here so this is these are two complete different monkeys that's crazy all right so what you're gonna do is, hold on, let me kill this monkey again. Uh, 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 yo, you're bad. You cannot hit me. You cannot hit me, dude. You can't hit me, bro. Like, let it go. Let it go. All right, there we go. So what you're gonna do is come back over here. I was wondering why that monkey was not responding. You're gonna bait this monkey. You're gonna bait this monkey to come to you. Get that dude to come over, bro. Get that dude to slide. Where, where'd the monkey go? There he goes. Get that dude to come over, and once this monkey respawns, you come over here. Oh, maybe he just spawn there. All right, so you come over here, and what you want to do is you want to just attack. You get to attack the monkey after from standing back here. All right, like I said, this works with the cutlass or any type of sword, which you will obviously you will get more than enough money to once you hit level ten, as long as you're doing the the bandit quest. All right, and here you can easily uh farm these monkeys and kill them like without ease they don't touch you they don't reach i don't know if you guys can tell right there in that like small clip but they were not able to reach they were not able to do damage to me because you guys can tell literally because of the fact that my oh here it is so that was the monkey all right so literally because of the fact that my logia effect was not going off whenever i get hit by a monkey he hits me my logia effect goes off come over here I'm hitting him he's not hitting me just like that now this is honestly the easiest way to like honestly I feel like this is the fastest way to level up especially once you hit level 10 you'll probably skyrocket to the level 20 ish and honestly guys um I did farm the gorillas and basically what I did to farm the gorillas oh here's a chest make sure you always want to pick up those chests you know free free money free money you always want to take that money with you so basically what I did to farm the gorillas, come over here, all right, grab this gorilla. No, I don't want the monkey quest, dude. Return, 
from the gorilla. Alright, so I came over here. It also helps if you have a low gear type. If you have a low gear type, you easily can uh, honestly, like, you literally have a head start from the get go. Um, if you decide you have enough Robux that you want to buy, like, Mirror, Mirror, or Smoke, or something like that, you can easily buy one of the uh, Dell Fruits. If not, you want to come over here. And basically, since the trees on this island have a lot shorter. Um, a lot shorter uh, they're not they're, they're not a lot shorter they're a lot like thinner than the ones on the other island basically what you want to come over here get behind try to get your try to position yourself behind a tree branch oh my god stop stop and basically you want to use the tree branch to kind of shield yourself there we go just like how you're using that uh just like how you're using that the the wall you want to get yourself positioned as to where you might get hit a few times, but there we go. Finally got it there. You want to get yourself positioned. You want to use this, this, this little tree stump or whatever. Not a tree branch. I don't know why I called it a branch. Like I said, it's like almost four o'clock and I'm so tired. You want to use that to shield yourself from getting hit. And then you can easily farm those um, gorillas. Sadly, there isn't exactly a method similar to that for the monkey king. I've tried multiple times. I've tried to figure them out. Uh, but he's honestly like because he has an attack that does like AOE damage So it's a lot. It's a lot harder to like try to avoid him as here I'll show you guys right here. So if I try to do this right here, right? He has an AOE attack that you will eventually take damage for and you'll probably die not only that he's uh He has Buso which allows him to hit low gear users But yeah, for the most part that is the starter guide to blocks piece I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope it did help you guys uh, level up real quick at the beginning, allowing you to go farm a lot faster and uh, get a really good head start over most people who don't know what to do once they come into the game. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video and you did find it helpful, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you are subscribed and haven't done so, hit the notification bell. And if you guys are excited for this game, let me know. Are you? Do you guys plan on being a pirate? or a marine which which team are you rocking with as you guys can see all of us are rocking with the pirates so let me know what you're rocking with and with that being said until next time guys we are out Please don't throw your love.